Still waiting for a remake for Doom Eternal soundtrack. <laughs> hey, Williams and Cole, how are you, man? <laughs> but yeah, I, I I saw something like a um, petition. Is it, is it how you call that in English? Going on about you no know, voting for Mick, Mick Gordon to still be there for the next Doom. Like, what, what's happening? I didn't read it through it. I just saw that passing by. And um. Is there like an issue with with, with Mick Gordon and and Doom? I was it, it, I think it was something for let, let him remix the whole Doom Eternal soundtrack or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. All right, that's good. Working just fine. Twitch is working just fine as well. Bethesda rushed the Doom soundtrack with some other people rather than letting him take this time. Oh. Maybe it was too slow. <laughs> I mean, the, you saw the, um, the trailer. The trailer they released with like the rap soundtrack. Oh my god, what was that? <gasps> when I saw that sound that that trailer, I was like, "What the hell?" Like, who thought that was a good idea? Like, like they were they were sitting in a meeting at some point. Like, what music did we put in? Oh, and then one guy showed up and like, "Hey, let's let's put this music." And yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, rap music, that fits perfectly. Like, yeah, that, that sounds like Doom, 100%. What? And they let that through. Amazing. <laughs> but, hey. <laughs> that was, I mean, it was, it got downvoted, like, through the, the ground. All right, we're going to delete. What's this one? I'm gonna delete that one, I guess. So we're gonna be running a hundred percent ultra nightmare run, but just for the heck of it, so no no rush, no timer, no no speed run. I don't even know like all the, the logic behind it, like uh how many uh, i think there's seven mastery tokens so how many weapon mods i need to 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 upgrade by myself and uh, when when to do them so i'll have to be patient i read a little bit between each mission just to like what's the mission challenges and stuff so i don't skip anything but uh we'll, tr we'll try and we'll try to do that without dying on top of it because on ultra nightmares so, um, <clears throat> we'll jump into that right away. First mission is just like uh, grabbing a couple stuff and getting through it, so uh, that should be fine. It's the next after that. <laughs> I don't plan doing the whole thing tonight any either, so. But we'll, we'll see where it goes. We might, we might die a couple times, so we might not go in anywhere at all. But that's also a nightmare. <clears throat> That hell can conjure. I like challenges. That mankind can produce. We will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. <clears throat> if you ever have uh, or go on Twitch a whim, uh, a whimsical. I put the link in my title above my name, like uh, on YouTube. There, like my my banner on the top of the channel. There's a link to my Twitch. The quality of the video is better on Twitch. So, um, you know, look at with Quake Three Cut Doom Guy voice. <laughs> so. Uh, it's up to you. Like I say, you can be on both. I don't mind. That's why I'm streaming on both.
Oh, database. Hey, yo, man. Daniel. Sup? Back at it. <laughs> Welcome to another Ultra Nightmare run. I'm I'm fine. Check your Twitter more. Yeah, <laughs> I'm super bad at Twitter. I need to do that. But 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 just for you, database. Just for you, man. I created um a host. Host alert. One there, one there. There's one more. That shot though. There's even one more again. <laughs> Almost at the icon on my last level finally. Oh, you're doing great, uh, Daniel. I try, you know it. <laughs> oh, what you tried? Is that showing up? I just tested it before the stream. I'm so, I'm serious. I did something. No, I did it. What the fuck? What's happening? Wait a second. No, it's there. It's on. It should work. A stream element is for some reason is 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 trolling me. Let's let's check something out. I don't know why, it seems like you save, but it, it works like just two days after. If I do a test, it, sh it, it should show up. Let's, let's see. Hey, that's a test. See? Oh, I just tested it, so the link is good. I tested it. Why does it, it doesn't show up? I remember there's a, yeah there is one right here at the beginning. Oh, I know. I know I know why. How many viewers did you have when you started hosting? <gasps> you survived. The bitch survived. I host from offline it says hosting with one yeah I, I think there's a limit of one if you have under one it doesn't show <laughs> that's why I should put the limit to zero I guess <laughs> that's what's happening Salt. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Getting shot. No time to waste. Too slow restart. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> what the fuck is he doing? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't kill him earlier. Let's, let's finish the job, shall we? Forgot to taunt. <coughs> what taunts in Doom Eternal? But <laughs> <coughs> there's um, you can have the grunt <coughs> of the Slayer, but I removed it. Didn't like it. Unnecessary uh, monkey bar. I'm out of it. Need ammo. Who skip? Which which one? There's so many skip that everybody use. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during the video. Not too high. There's so many good skip in this uh, in this game. Smack that bitch. <laughs> Let me know if I forget something. I think it's not too bad. I don't remember all the secrets and all the levels, so I'll have to pay attention a little bit. Calm down, guys. Calm down. Missed it. Missed it again. Missed it again. I'm get. I'm getting. I'm warming up. <laughs> okay, I think that one I got it. Okay. That is just like wondering what I'm doing. He's just looking at me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, dude, just die.
Right. Mako is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her. Do I have everything? <gasps> Missing three things. Dude. <laughs> A nice nice start. I missed the, the fucking first thing in the level. <laughs> I completely forgot about that one. <laughs> All right, let's restart. No, I think I can. Can I go back? Or do I have to walk? Yeah, I can go back. Okay, I'll go grab that. <laughs> Note self. Don't forget about the very first thing to grab in the fucking level. Barge, what's the? Oh, is it too far? Yeah, that's maybe a little city, midtown. Okay, <laughs> it's maybe a little too far. Yeah, this guy there, completely passed right next to it. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Alright, should get everything on this one. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Those other ground pisses me off. <laughs> but yeah, but it, it's kind of compensated by the... You know the girl speaking at those... Um, those... Uh, uh, computer standing and I, I think it started R complex you can you can click and then she explained who the slayer is and uh, the further you go down the the game she's like basically praising you like she's like you're a god or something it's it's, it's not too bad <laughs> it compensate for the <laughs> For the hologram at the final scene when she's uh, she can someone kill that that look like, how she say that I don't remember, someone sh kill that that um that guy please but she she doesn't say that guy she says something more uh, harsh. <laughs> she's just like pissed off <laughs> that you're still alive. Uh, idiot I don't I think she says and someone kill that idiot please it's on the very first uh, very last level okay so this mission I think there's a secret there but I don't think it count because there's another secret in this game that don't count to warn 100% completion so you have to not Wish we could kill it. <laughs> ah! is off tonight like there's another secret there but it doesn't count either armor you get Let's go with that one
Oh, I thought he was jumping. That's right there. Okay, so we need to grab this one. One shot can make it count. <laughs> is there? Is there? Oh yeah, there is. I was wondering if there was shotgun ammo in here. This one out of the way. That was a nice grenade. Do we have challenges in this one? No. We just have to grab everything. Oh, I know I have six points here. So I can upgrade that. He didn't even die from the, the barrel explosion. Suicide. Oh, dude. <laughs> What's the best way to kill Tyrant and Archvile? I hate those bastards. Um, Archvile pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to ice them as soon as uh, you, you see them. And then double, triple rocket. Oh, come on. We'll do the trick. So d d double, triple rocket shot. Where are you going, boy? Tyrant is uh, more complicated because they have a lot of HP. It's like 14 rocket plus a couple of shots of plasma to kill one, so 
using the sword on them tyrants are true point so yeah so you use you, you, you ice the arc vial double uh um double rocket uh salvo will kill them then for tyrant i think most of the tyrant in the game if not all of them you can kill them with the sword so you ice them just to make sure because the, the worst thing is to sometimes there's enemy around the tyrant you don't want to like by accident sword uh, like an imp next to the tyrant I miss those. And then get smacked by... <laughs> I need to practice that jump. I don't know why I made it the very first time. And then zero time after that. I don't know why. Map is not useful. When is the first iron? Uh, outside of the... Outside of the um, the Slayer Gates, because there is there isn't Slayer Gates too. But I have two points, so I don't have enough points yet to upgrade that. I forgot anything. Don't think so. Yeah, I think all the tyrants can be killed with a sword. <clears throat> if not, you just ice them, rocket. Tyrants are good to be left alone and just kill them at the end when everything else is dead. Because as soon as long as you run around, they have a hard time really hitting you. How much can she take? Uh oh, should have kept one for this guy. <laughs> Completely forgot about this guy. And then I fell right into the lava there. Oh no, that was a mistake. Not dead. Wait a second. So I should start upgrading this guy. Start working on this upgrade. Which also mean and I have to switch weapon mod again. It's a nice spot to be stuck. Oh, great. Where's the other one? Maybe it was up there. Let's 
See? I knew it. Knew it. it. Was up there somewhere. good for now. I need to hit all of those. Hmm. Still missing four stuff. I think I got everything. I think we're good. There's a crystal down there somewhere. And there's something with the um, betrayer. No. Oh. Almost died. Almost died right there. Because of one miss jump. <laughs> it doesn't take much. No, oh, there's still somebody. Tentacle sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't remember there was one there because I usually skip skip that part. So I I completely forgot there was a tentacles right there. Like they suck, but at the same time they don't because oh missed that completely. After a couple of runs, you know exactly where all of them are, except maybe one or two. Like this one, I completely forgot because I don't go there anymore. But y most of them, you know exactly where they are because they're they're not random. So it's the same as the totem. The totems are kind of harsh on the first playthrough. After that, it's pretty, you know, pretty easy. <laughs> you know exactly where the totems are and at the beginning of each fight, so you can just go straight to the totem, break it, and then it's a normal fight like any others. Can we get a shot? short it's gonna take a while oh it's way too <laughs> I got it <laughs> told him yeah you don't like the totems Can we climb up there by somewhere else? Like here. I think I saw somebody do it. Yeah, I can do that. Interesting. And then no enemy spawn. Interesting. All right, 
first slow gate. No, the maker is bad, man. For the work, for their for their work, you have to put up to get that. I got him. Come on. That's about it. Why dis oh, disappointment the uh, down maker? <laughs> little little bit. <laughs> that was a clean fight. VM, hey man, I've been trying to get through Ultra Nightmare but keep dying in the first three, four levels. Sometimes it's just stupid mistakes. Sometimes I just get hit and killed even when I'm running around trying to avoid enemies. First thing first, VM. In which Doom? This one or 2016? <laughs> just, just so I give the, the right tips for <laughs> the right game. <laughs> I just want to check. Yeah, no challenges. At this I have three. I'm missing two stuff. Which I believe is right. Yes, it's right. Life signal is nearby. This one. <laughs> so, first thing, first important to notice is that the first three levels are the hardest of the run. It's a little bit the same as in Doom 2016. <clears throat> Doom 2016, the, the first six levels are harder than the, like, six, seven last. Because you get so much armor and health and better weapon that uh, it, it even things out a little bit. <clears throat> So um, we're working on, on uh, working on a tutorial for this one too, and I'm really gonna focus a little bit more on the three first levels because they really are. I mean, I will die too. I'm, I might die in the next one. The third level is the worst. The cultist base. There's so many stuff that can happen. Um, the two first level, I got them down pretty pretty good. Don't think there's much risk. The fight are still uh, not, not not super easy. Oh, that's bad because I don't have. But, okay, let's get away. Oh, let's change that this one. I'm just gonna finish this fight. Alright. So... I don't think yeah, you must have much problem with the first mission. The first mission can be cleared without too much problem. 
Um, as long as you take your time, clear enemies as you go. Yep, that's good. Okay. The second mission, um, I would say it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. I'm, I'm working on something. The first thing I would recommend if you play Ultra Nightmare is uh, the first video I will do is on keybinds. Um, I don't know if you're using the default keybind right now, if you have this modification on your keybinds. Very important. <laughs> Doom 2016, it wasn't so much important because... Um, you could you could you could like do everything with one or two guns but this game though you want to have your each gun on a, on a different key and you want to be able to s switch between those guns efficiently because even on mission two or three it's kind of important even if you don't have a lot of guns it's still important the next thing is the way that this game is built is that each fight has a group of um, except for like the very beginning but they each fight has a group of you know super demon you know there's like kind of a tougher demon and then super demon and then normal demon which are the fathers like uh, imps uh, imps zombies you know uh, gargoyle these guys are just there to give you ammo and health but the bigger ones like Hell Knights, Revenant, these guys are, are the trigger to, to start and finish and progress a fight. So the longer you keep those guys alive, the longer the fight will be. And if you and if you clean them fast, then the fight will be super short. It were broke ways, so once you know the order of the order demon in the fight and in which order to eliminate them you can get in and out of fights quicker which which means you have less risk of dying because although fathers are are there to, to give you health and armor they still do damage you know gargoyle can be devastating if, if, they, if they, they get you from behind or stuff so so you want to get those fights done quick and uh, you, you focus on those those heavies as much as you can. At the beginning, the heavies are Hell Knights, and uh, on a mission two, it's Hell Knights, Arachnotron, and Revenant. So, on the second, you, I don't know if you saw the very last fight on on the mission two. When when you drop in, you kill like one soldier, and there's going to be an Arachnotron dropping. So I took the teleport right when I got in there because I wanted to be close to that Arachnotron because I want to get get that one down quick. Because if you don't kill the Arachnotron then the Hell Knight after that don't spawn. So you're going to be stuck with all those imps and gargoyles and soldiers and that Arachnotron. And if you just if you just kill a soldiers and gargoyles, you're going to do that forever. So you're going to get hit, hit it there, hit here, and you're going to heal a little bit, then you get hit, then you lose some ammo, and then after a couple of minutes, you might die because you're going to get, you know, sworn with all those fathers. So if you go straight, like the other, the fathers don't even have time to spawn. You kill the Arachnotron, then the Hell Knight spawn, and then the Hell Knight spawn with the Revenant. And if you kill one, the Hell Knight, the the Caco Demon spawns. So I don't know if you saw it going, but I killed the Arachnotron, picked up the Quad, went straight for the Hell Knight, then went straight for the Caco Demon, then went straight for the other other Arachnotron. Because when you kill the Caco Demon, the other Arachnotron spawn. During that 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 um, Quad damage usage, I didn't kill any fathers unless they were in my way i didn't focus on gargoyles or imps or soldiers because you don't care you want to kill the heavies so the fight stops so i i clean the hell knight the caco demon and then the arachnotron in disorder so i had only the revenant left and i chased the revenant i was looking around for that revenant kill the revenant and then the fight was over i only had to clean the remaining fathers and then the fight was over so so you want to attack fights like this. You want to clean, clean uh, kill all the heavies as quick as possible and move on. And that helps, you know, reducing the delay, like the, the fight time, and so the risk of dying. Because you, you, clean, you clean the house before there's too many people. 
And that is true for all the fights all the way through the game. The thing is, later on, there's some fights where it's better to leave some um, some uh, heavies alive because they are harder to kill within a group of people. So you want to clean the, the 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 floor first and then focus on them. The Marauders is a good example. Marauders react to enemies fire uh, demons fire. So if demons start attacking the Marauder, he's gonna block the shots. So he, he will not attack you. So when there's too many demons around the Marauder, it's harder to fight the Marauder itself. So he's the kind of guy that you want to just run around. Don't don't think about him. Just just look for the the wolves from time to time. You just run around. You kill everything else, and you come back to him at the end. Tyrant is a little bit the same. Unless you're one on one with him at the beginning of a fight, I think that's it happens in like Necrovol two. You have a well, like a kind of, kind of a one v one with with him at the beginning. Other than that, you can just clean the house and then finish with the tyrant. Because as long as you move around and dash and stuff, it will not hit you, or very very rarely. Uh oh, I don't have dash. Okay. Made it. points do I have six but there's gonna be better tricks than that for for second and third level but out of my out of my mind key binds and then knowing the order at which you need to kill the heavies in a fight Wait, what are the challenges here? I think we start to have challenge now. Sentinel crystal, that's easy. Destroy the Ractotron turret, okay. That's not an issue. Welcome, Lucia. Is my time every day? Let's see if you're strong enough to- They survive from a direct grenade, grenade shot. Interesting. Right, there's the other one. Woohoo! That was stupid. How the fuck did he, did he survive that? Died there. I noticed that I'm often not sure which weapon to best use to attack the heavy demon, especially if you accidentally have an unexpected one on the, on the, one on the counter with them. To the memorize such things, a, um, at the beginning it's hard because you don't know what's coming up, but after you play it a couple times, you know every, every fight. So, one of my advantages over a lot of people is that I'm, I have a very, very, very good visual memory so whenever i play a game after one or two run i know basically everything by memory after that i would rarely get surprised like oh yeah i didn't remember this demon no, i just remember everything i'm very poor at like remembering a name when somebody give it to me but 
visual memory if i if i went to some places one time i know exactly how to get there again just by memory so that helps a lot but what i tend to memorize in games like doom is which weapon how much of each weapon you need to kill a certain enemy and which combo kill a certain enemy for example i know that in doom eternal you need two ballista shot and two rocket to kill a fully hp mag mancubus so I know that if he's at a safe distance, like medium range, and the super shotgun cannot be effective, I'm going to do Ballista, Rocket, Ballista, Rocket. That's going to be the combo for any Mancubus once I get all those guns. I know that if I break the turret of an Arachnotron using a scope shot of, of this gun, I can Ballista shot him, uh, the, the Arachnotron, then meet hook and, and super shotgun him close range, it's gonna uh, put him in glory kill. So basically it's scope shot, perista, shot, super shotgun. And it's, I know that by heart. So I know that a triple burst will kill a hell knight, a triple burst will stagger a dread knight, a triple burst will kill a revenant, a triple burst will kill an, an arachnotron. So as you can see, the triple burst is pretty useful for a lot of situation. So it's all that kind of stuff that, yes, if, if you memorize that, you know, like, oh, here's a Hell Knight, is at safe distance, pull out Rocket, oh, I have enough Rocket, all right, you clean the Revenant, like, the 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 Hell Knight right away. So you don't have to, you don't have to work on it because you know exactly what, what to use to get him. Not much in it. I was expecting more. Um... Yeah. I think this is just a secret. There's not. It's not part of the. Oh well. Yeah, it doesn't count. Oh no. We're good. Can it does it okay, thank you. I was expecting one more imp. Imp. Don't like about detention in this game. Seems very weak. Yeah, lock on is one of the <laughs> strongest, if it's not the strongest mod in the whole game. In World Detonation was super good in Doom 2016, and in this game it's kind of Ooh, what's that? Wait, wait, wait. Where is that? <gasps> I didn't grab that. Dude, completely forgot about that one. I need that. <laughs> yeah, burst shot is way way better. Yeah, triple triple burst is is the way to go. It's ridiculous how strong it is. Even though it's it's slow to. Uh, okay, I thought I I had it. Uh, Even though it's super slow to, to like lock on something, it's in, it's so good. Like I said, it, it kills Hell Knight in one shot, Revenant in one shot, Arachnotron in one shot, it staggers Dread Knight, it kills Archvile in two shots if they're if they are iced. So I mean it's it's the highest DPS in the game. It, I even argue that um White Knight, yep, uh two times already. Um, I can even argue that it's higher DPS than switching weapon. And I tested it on a Tyrant. If you have like full rocket, you, you, you shoot 12 rockets in 4 cells of, of like 3. So like 
triple burst, triple burst, triple burst, triple burst, and then you, it it you need like one or two scope, uh, one one scope shot of the rifle, or like um, I think like one ballista shot plus a, a, a super shotgun shot, and it's dead. And it's faster than like doing ballista shotgun, ballista rocket, rocket ballista shotgun, and stuff like that to kill the tyrant. It's it's quicker to just um, like triple burst him to death, basically. Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't grab them. Perfect. I don't want it. <laughs> As I'm stuck on this level, the pit, pit, the pit, the pit is this. I oh, mean, I don't know what's happening. When I do the pit, I get screwed one time out of two by those man mancubus, and I know exactly how to do deal with them and when they spawn and how. But still, from time to time, they drop right on top of my head. And I die. It's uh, we'll see. I might die. I'm serious. This is it's one of the bullshit moment of the whole game. No. Why? Wait. Why am I? I got screwed up by a setting here. Why am I picking up weapon? And it shows auto switch weapon. Auto switch new. <gasps> Usually I pick up and doesn't switch, so I have my rifle when I get out, so I can shoot the cannon. Now I, I was I was about to shoot the cannon, and then I had my rocket out, and he turned around. So now I'm kind of dead, basically, unless I find some interesting people. <laughs> Get the hell out of there, boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, back in action, I guess. That was a big... Do we still have a gun? Well, yeah, he still has one. <laughs> where, where are they? Imagine when he has more followers. What? What? What's happening? <laughs> He ignores me. I don't ignore you, man. What's what's? <laughs> why did you say that? I, I saw you. You said easy, easy. Uh, what you said? Easy base? No, yeah, easy base. That's what you said. <laughs> I saw it, man. <laughs> here you can jump here and right there. Oh, uh, uh, you're supposed to be. Oh yeah, if you jump high enough, you can grab that. <laughs> All right, here are butts. <laughs> Why are you spamming the chat? <laughs> if the chat goes too fast, I won't be able to follow you. But that's the problem with the restream chat. Oh, dude, I'm low on ammo, though. No, that was stupid. Wondering where he was. I have four of these though. Drop them down right here. Oh. 
Yeah, remote detonation. It's sad that it's not that good because it was um, it was fun to play with remote detonation. You can do some skill shot with that thing. I figured out most fights using the methodical approach I learned from you from 2016, but this level will still stop smart by run often. It's a tough one. For real, it's it's a it's the toughest of the whole run. And I know that some people argue no, but the the, the fact is, it's the it's the one level that has the most random stuff. It's not because there's the is the one that has the hardest enemies. It's, it's it's just that all the other levels you can predict everything that's gonna happen after you practice them a little bit. This one you can practice them all you want, you still can get fucked up fucked by the pit. No matter what, and it's it's and, and that what makes it for me the hardest level, because even although I, I beat it multiple times, it can still like fuck me in a second. Okay, that didn't. Okay. I'm stuck there. Okay, yeah, there's way too many people there right now. <gasps> okay, okay. <laughs> I was sure he got that one in the mouth. But for some reason, it wasn't. Or was it? Or, or was it not? Did I miss that shot? I I I'm almost want to replay that on 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 YouTube, man. What? I missed that shot. For me, it was dead center. What happened? What? This time to celebrate. <laughs> Let me just check that real quick. I re I really wanted that that make you die real bad without using the rocket. I should have just shot some rocket on him. And then. The shot on... It went right past him. I don't know. I don't know. That wasn't what re was weird. <laughs> Against all He's just playing bad so we can relate. Can but that's the thing though. That's the other thing. When, when, you, when you talk with chat a lot, it can fuck you up. I don't concentrate. As much as I should when I play Ultra Nightmare while streaming. <laughs> some some player that play Ultra Nightmare while streaming just don't look at the chat while they're playing. They just ignore the chat until the end of the level. I don't like to do that. I know just if I didn't boom, no death. Yeah, exactly. I don't I rarely ignore chat even during <laughs> <laughs> hard fights <laughs> and that's being too cocky that's what it is <laughs> too confident you need to you need to ignore some hard luck yeah I, I don't know what happened with that shot it's hard to see because when I look at the replay I was behind a column when it, when it exploded but for me, it was dead center on the mouth of that guy. So there was no question in my mind that I could... Um, that I could, like, glory kill that guy after that. short let's see if he reads on, on screen chat <laughs> no I read this chat in OBS 
so so you guys see only three three uh comment at a time but on obs i have like seven or eight <gasps> dude forgot about that did i grab the that you i, I said a white knight oh <laughs> I grabbed the fucking thing at the beginning this time around? Yeah, okay. I'm not too bad. No, chow, 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 chow. I did. <laughs> you guys are all over the place. Well, I have to get back to the pit, White. <laughs> I have to get back to the pit. Didn't manage to get even there. He avoided that. Great job. Didn't kill them. Interesting. I thought it was close enough to kill both. Didn't kill neither one or the other. Seems like a ticker of doesn't exist in our database at this moment. <laughs> the database. Oh my god. Pre-fire around the corner. Very nicely done, soldier. To add you to me. <laughs> now that's normal. Oh, now I don't have any gun. How do you fix that? How do you fix that? A switching gun? Why sh <laughs> How? How should I fix that? If I shoot the grenade, what does it do? Uh huh. Interesting. A chainsaw. Is it gonna work? I cannot chainsaw. No target. <sighs> I'm switching weapon, dude. I'm switching weapon. I'm I'm hitting like the the shotgun and the. <laughs> I don't. Do, I can even even chainsaw. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right. The, the, this kind of bug though. This this kind of bug. I mean, you gotta love them on Auto Nightmare. You got you gotta appreciate. The bug that make it so you cannot do fucking anything. I cannot even dash into them to try to kill them. All I have is this. Maybe if I put this guy in glory kill mode using the grenade. Oh, let's let's try that. That's the only thing I got. Maybe I can glory kill. Armed and dangerous. <laughs> pew 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 pew. pew. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Pew 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 pew. I need I need not to miss a grenade though. Oh, 
Oh no, I cannot even. No. Dude. Fuck this game. <laughs> At least it's, it's, at, it's at the first level. What the fuck? Dude. I couldn't even uh, glory kill them. I couldn't chainsaw, couldn't shoot, couldn't switch weapon. The Doom Slayer was doomed. What the fuck was that bug? I had that before, but I could switch weapon and and, and it and it everything went back okay. All the wicked <laughs> Oh my god. Dying from, from a cackle demon that didn't eat the grenade that was point blank in his mouth. And then having like the weapon switch bug. So I have to restart the whole thing. Yeah. People say this game is less polished. I tend I tend to believe them. Compared to Doom 2016, this game has a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work still to be done. God damn. That bug was something. It's a showstopper right there. This game seems more cartoonish to me. It is. A little bit more. I mean, that was a real showstopper. Like, like... Good job. Restart. Thanks you very much. Because there's no... Um, I could have Alta 4 save the run, maybe. Dude, there's a million people there. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> it's a feature. It's not a bug. It's, it's a, <laughs> intended. <laughs> work. Work as intended. <laughs> Doom Slayer like this without any gun. Yeah. Work as intended. That's it, that was my last shot. Don't hit me, please. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, calm down. There will be grenade for everybody. <laughs> Sometimes they kind of... I don't know. It, it, it's like they... Uh, they flip a switch and, and all of a sudden they're like beast mode activated. It was one after the other right there. Alright, we're almost back to the bug bug place. God damn it. At least the first the first level is super fun. Right. Right. <laughs> It's not like if it was the best the best level in the game. God damn it. That was a poor shot there. Poorly executed. Oh don't stay there, don't move. Perfect. Oh and the and the and the arachnotron is at the fucking end of the map. I 
and I don't have dash. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, I got my guns. We're good. We'll be able to do something. Oh, I missed that one. Where are these guys? They're fighting each other down there. are acting your game because they have no chance otherwise <laughs> how many have a good day sir oh, shooting through walls okay this game Clearly saw the, that shot. No, missed it. Going through the wall there. I had a bug on level 2 of that fight where he passed through. Three big doors. And the hell not spawn, he ran somewhere behind a cliff and basically disappeared. <laughs> For real? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Couldn't find him and the fight could continue. Oh my god. He had to restart. That's painful, man. Did I forgot anything? No, we're good. Okay. That out of nowhere shot though. He was ready. Perfect execution. The scope shot does stagger them though. He's still alive. Don't have enough.
right. This game seems so full of bug death markers for other people still don't appear, which sucks. Takes a lot of fun out of the auto nightmare not being able to see where other die. Is it? Yeah. But I, I thought. Are you sure about that? Because I thought that. Yeah, I'm missing two things. That's normal. I thought that it's because it wasn't a feature of the game. I thought it was because it's just not part of the game of of Eternal. You only see your marker, not not the others. And I was like, why they didn't do like the other? And um, it make it would make sense if you what you say is right. That it's because it's bugged. In my opinion, it, it's just not a feature. Do you know? Do you know if it's a feature that is bugged or if it's not a feature? Yeah, it would be great. Hopefully, a patch will, fi will fix a lot of this stuff. But guessing it's gonna be a while. And that's their thing. They said, "Oh, we're gonna support that game a lot," and blah 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 and blah blah. And I mean, the game is out for a month now. And, I mean, there's weekly challenges, but I mean, they didn't release any new, any new demon for battle mode. And uh, yep, the fix. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of bug that 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 were discussed. No, no fix were was shown yet. So. I don't know what they're doing. Or maybe they 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 were they got hammered as much as I did when I saw the the numbers on Twitch. <laughs> maybe they thought the game would be like a sky high for a while, but like after a week, it dropped to like two thousand viewers. That's it. Everything went to Valorant. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if it's a feature or a bug. I believe it's not a feature. Oh, it's not a bug. <laughs> it's just not there. Yeah, you're right though. The the COVID-19 uh, problem might be affecting their performance. That, that I can agree. Seeing other people dead mark is part of fun. Yeah, it was fun. Especially when you uh, would get in the later levels. And then you see somebody that that, that died like at the fucking end of the, the, the game. It was kind of sad. Deleted. that one all right oh so many skulls at the levels <laughs> level two yeah the first the first usually the first fight like people just try and they get destroyed No, 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 no. These, these guys. <laughs> oh, dude, not cool. Can you eat my grenade, please? 
Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Dude. Do you have a lot of gaming experience, especially FPS? I'm wondering, considering you seem to have, be, have a fair bit of skills. Yeah, I have a lot of FPS experience, <laughs> especially on PC. And that's what a lot of people get confused because when I started uh, streaming the, my streaming career, I was on PS4 playing Doom, Doom 2016. So people were like, "Oh, it's a it's a console player," but no, I'm I'm a PC player. I I just played Doom 2016 on console because I don't know why. I, I enjoy both platform because they both have their pros and cons. But I mean, I, I played competitive Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 for years. So, I mean, I was doing clan matches and stuff. So, I, I won, we won prizes and stuff. So, yeah, I, I have decent skill in FPS on PC. Yay, my dash again. It's so weird to not have the dash. Ridiculous. But I the first the very first game I ever touched was on Red Tournament 1999. That's what all started my FPS career and oh boy, it's a good game to learn how to play FPS games. Is it, in, is it in the mouth now? Is it good? You survived all of that. These, these Kekos are really getting lucky today, yeah? It's, it's insane. But, but the thing is, when they, um, see, I'm not much of a gamer, so that's probably why you end it so hard for me. That I haven't played anything in months, and the only FPS I played, single player Doom 2016. Yeah, uh, but do you play on PC or, or console? Because if you play on PC, I highly, highly recommend you play on Red Tournament. The old one, you can buy them for like five bucks on on on, uh, on Steam. Even the 2004, like UT uh, UK 2004. And then UT99, uh, UT99, man, still today a very great game. And to learn to get better at arena FPS like like Doom, which is clearly an arena FPS, um, it's perfect. It's perfect. Because uh, uh, um, on Red Tournament Nine. Uh, Basically, I'll make, I'll make a pause then. Pause. Let's pause a second. So, Under Tournament 99 was like was born within the Quake era. It was basically Quake against Unreal Tournament. Uh, <laughs> Unreal Tournament. And both games had their pros and cons. Both games were arena shooters. And uh, that fun fact about Unreal Tournament is that there's you play against AI, okay? You don't need to play uh, multiplayer at all, at all. You just buy the game and you run the campaign. So it's a bunch of matches of, of like um, death match and, and capture the flag and stuff like that, which were really mainstream in, in like 99. And uh, the AI has, I believe, 9 or 10 difficulty levels. So it's like novice, intermediate, experience, uh, uh, advanced, masterful, inhuman, and godlike. And although it's a very old game, you can abuse the AI on some maps. You can like trick them into a certain spot and then just kill them when they get there. But most of the map, you'll get destroyed. I mean, masterful and up, it's they're really challenging. Okay, the the AI is not bad. Why is the monitor burning again? So. I really recommend you play that and, and put whatever levels you feel comfortable at the beginning. If you get destroyed, just lower the levels of the the difficulty of the, the AI. 
and then work your way up in that in that game up until you can play on godlike difficulty and one, once you can finish the game on godlike you'll be better at, at fps game i guarantee you your aim will be better your your movement your switching weapon everything will be better a lot better and it's more fun doing that than practicing you know there's online you know game you can like small uh, mini mini game you can use to practice aiming and stuff it's not fun it's, it's boring after 20 minutes you're bored to death so Unreal Tournament 99 is a very very good game to get better at FPS games you're gonna learn to manage your ammo your guns moving around the map picking up the stuff you know moving while shooting uh, choosing the right gun for the right situation everything and uh, there's a lot of movement too there's double dash there's everything in that game so you have to use the movement to win it's it's a great game <laughs> Now, if you don't feel like buying the game because it's still like maybe 10 or 12 bucks, there's on Rare Tournament the new one on Epic Store, which is free. It's on and it's in alpha. They stopped completely the, the development of the game because of Fortnite, which I was pissed. I played a lot of that on Rare Tournament. It's free. You can just go on Epic Store, tap on Rare Tournament, and download it. The graphics are nice. There's a couple a couple of maps. The AI is there, and there's diff the AI difficulty is there, and it works. Just that is enough to practice. The movement is great, the guns are great. It's fun. There's a little community on multiplayer you can find, but it's like people like me only. Okay, you're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> it's like old school people that played those games forever. So I even get destroyed. So it's ridiculous how good the, the guys there are. But it's fun to play. I like that shot quite quite good. I just found out that I didn't upgrade anything. As of yet. Can we get I'm wondering if I could get the flame on both of these guys? You know, it's gonna feel old. You dodge everything. Those gargoyles, man. I'm trying to beat Ultra Nightmare when my skill sucks. <laughs> uh, what you could do is play Nightmare first. If you're able to beat Nightmare, you don't suck. Yeah, exactly. But you haven't finished life on Nightmare, so it, it can take, you know, how much time you want. You, you'll beat it. That doesn't make you necessarily uh, an awesome player, <laughs> unfortunately. Just killed all those three, and I'll try to do that jump. I need to practice that stupid jump. Oh, okay, I thought I couldn't get back up here. You get hit, you hit those. That's what happened. You cannot pass through that. So you have to go under them and then up like this. Okay. Just want to make sure I get that one right. Yeah, okay. I'll probably have to do a run or um, a stream or two of you UT just to show what it is. It's it's old but gold, I'm telling you. And the new one is not even that old, so just that it's it's not ready for mass uh, mass playing. I was thinking since Epic became so fucking rich due to Fortnite that they would put back you know developers on Unreal and release a proper new you know generation on Returnament because you know Quake Champion got out a couple of years ago and now Doom you know Doom Doom Eternal is still an arena shooter and it's super popular 
So I feel like arena shooters are getting kind of back on the map. People are fed up with normal Call of, Call of Duty shooters. So after a while, it's just the same boring. It hit me. Wow, nice shot, bro. My turn. So I feel like there's kind of people want that different type of FPS experience. I hope. That they'll work on that. But uh, I have little hope. They put so much time on Fortnite. It's the Kako Demon again. Okay, okay, he barely hit me. That was good. He survived! Now I have zero. And I'm fighting two of these guys. Was right on nightmare you you can just restart your point till you beat a fight doesn't mean you're good no but you still have to have to have some decent you know knowledge to be able to just beat some of the fights <laughs> wait every time i get to that arachnotron i have to remember that i can upgrade this and so i can shoot this this thing down <laughs> Dude, I saw that you can jump here too. Super hard to do, though. And then you can jump there. <laughs> I miss. No, need my two dash. All right. Oh, I didn't need. I needed only one. Oh, oh, dude, that's nice. Don't die. <laughs> Modify the keybind for Doom to make weapon switching easier. I remove my keybind of my weapon wheels. Use switching with keys. Yeah, exactly. You did, you did that when? The beginning of the game or just now? <laughs> It's very important, especially for Ultra Nightmare. And unfortunately, I cannot show you how important it is right now because I have only few guns. But when you get the whole the whole ordeal, man, there's some fancy combo you can pull on those big guys. Makes things a lot easier. About a week ago, okay. I mean, my plan on the video, what I've planned to do up to now, is to talk about like the philosophy behind key binding on game like Doom. I'll use Doom as an example, but the, the video will be able to be used for almost any FPS game. This is the same philosophy. Of course, some game it's easier than others because you have like three weapons or like a, lo a loadout of two weapons. But um, a game like Doom, it's it's really interesting how to approach layout. Like why you put this gun on this key and why you use this key instead of this key. You can do that. It seems like it's uh, for a lot of people. It's just like they do it how they feel it. But there is a way. There is better way than others. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know share my view on it how i approach key binding 
Yes. Hopefully, this might help some people out rethinking like what their decision about how they they, they bind their keys. Turning mind quit switching is possible, but much harder. Yeah, I'll try to account for that. I'll try to not show you know super complicated combo with with weapon switching. There, I'll I'll focus on beating the web, the levels without that because it's not you know it's not essential. It makes a difference. <laughs> it does make a difference. Well, the thing is, uh, it's slower to switch on console, but you slow time when you switch too. So it's not like you get you're getting rushed. So eh. I don't. I didn't see any videos of people um, beating Ultra Nightmare on console yet. But. Um, like it, it gives me the... <laughs> I'm about to just buy the game again just to prove that it's possible. Because <laughs> it's not... It's definitely possible. But then it's another $60 investment just to prove everybody wrong. Uh, not worth it. <laughs> but I didn't see anybody who achieved it yet. People say it's impossible. I don't believe that. Yeah, it takes. Yeah, you're right. It's definitely slower. That's for sure. We get that. Got it. <laughs> Aggressive. I like that. You saw someone complete uh, complete it? I, 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 I see it. I know that the guy streams it quite a bit. But he his PB is like Gladiator or something. He didn't completed it yet. I mean the game is out for quite some time already, so. But you saw somebody that did it. Okay. Great. At least it sh it shows that it's doable. Alright. Now, uh, White Knight, if you're oh, uh, or VM, if you're playing, um, if you're playing Ultra Nightmare, I highly recommend you do the first two Slayer Gates because you get three points, weapon points per Slayer Gate, and they're not that hard. I mean, this one is changing; you can die in this one, but it's so early in the run; it's just like end of mission two. If you die, you don't have to redo like five levels to get back there. So. It's a good practice for what's to come because it's a challenging experience. But you get three points out of it, and then those three points can be invested, you know, quicker on getting your weapon better, faster. So some people will skip all of the Slayer Gates of Ultra Nightmare on their first run. But when I did my first run, I did the first two because I wanted those points. After that, you have so many points starting um, Super Gore Nest and up. You have so many points and everything that you need to unlock is already unlocked. The rest is just trash mods that you will not use anyway. So you don't need to do the other Slayer Gates on top of the fact that the Unmaker is super underwhelming. Yeah, that's what I, I didn't want to happen. <laughs> Dude. It went out of the map. He said nope. Oh dude, I need to get a lot faster than that.
How many of these guys is there? I got destroyed there. I appreciate to get some help. I don't like the fact that they're super spread out. When they're all in the same spot, it's the best. Cuz you can predict where they're going to where they're going to be. All right. That was a little bit uh a little bit rough. Still not over yet, it seems. Still have his red knight around. Unless it disappeared. Might have killed him in um in a grenade shot somewhere. This was a messy, messy surrogate. Made it out. It seems like one of the Revenant or two of them got delayed. Like they got in and out and then they got in again with all the others. So there was a lot of people in there. First surrogate, sometimes you can get cornered by a Dread Knight and it's acid pool and can kill you slightly. Yeah. The second one is scary. Oh, because of the um, what do I beat in? So because of the three mancubus, yeah, three mancubus, three arachnatron, three cackle demon. It can go bad. It can go bad quick. I mean, it's not. You're not forced to do them. It's gonna help you out if you achieve them. If it's to break your run every time, then skip. Just skip. <laughs> Just skip them. On, at least on the first one, the first Ultra Nightmare run. But it does give you a nice boost. Like for example, I must have close to six now. Oh uh, yeah, five. Got everything here. And can be in close quarter is no fun. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. I mean no fun. <laughs> And, oh, I didn't, didn't, didn't got it. I know why. I found out that if you... Okay, I'm pretty shit right now. <clears throat> okay. You're supposed to get there, just... Okay, I don't know why I was missing that. If you double dash and you hold the dash button, you're gonna dash a little bit further. Then if you just dash, release, and dash again. Uh oh, I have no ammo, that, that beautiful technology. Check, got everything. No challenges for now. We're good. Should have taken my time on that Arachnotron though to get the the turret with the shotgun shot. Shotgun grenade. 
Because I do need to get that mod completed by the end of the game. I think it's an issue. There's a lot of Arachnotron. All right. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Try to do cultist base the right way this time around. Sentinel energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. Spawn modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, Repertorium. Do that only once and you never touch that again. <laughs> Same with this gun, the shotgun. Personally, after... After mission 4, I didn't ever touch it again. I just don't use it. Somebody hiding somewhere. Chilling. I understand the first arena in Doom Hunter's base. All those gargoyles there are so ferocious, man. They can destroy you even if you stop. And yeah, for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, chillin' dude. <laughs> yeah, we had a truce. That's the that what happened when you have the gold skin. Some demons are just so impressed by it that they just stop fighting. It happened to me the other day on a large-scale combat. At the end of the Mars Core level. The last fight where there's the... Just before the... The portal that brings you to Sentinel Prime. I entered that fight and all the demons were fighting themselves. Nobody was shooting at me. I was running around the, the arena. I have that on, on Twitch. I have that on YouTube too. I, uh, maybe I deleted the one on YouTube. But I have that safe somewhere. Where I was just there standing, and no demon were shooting me. And there's like, you know, 20 of them in the arena. All of them were fighting each other's out. And I was killing them, and they were still fighting each other's out. It was bugged. I had to walk out of the arena and back in, and, and the fight started. <laughs> it's like I wasn't there. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that I remember. You were there. <laughs> That's pretty funny stuff. Oh wow, that nice grenade. That grenade that went nowhere. <gasps> Too slow. I think I need to not do it that way. Yeah, that's a clip, but that it was like so long longer than that. It was ridiculous. Okay, that's bad. How do you get there? Okay, I feel it when I when I hit. How did I do that? Okay, made it earlier. I was wondering. I cannot think of the 
try to not forget. And the imp gets stuck dancing the other day. <laughs> I don't need it. Don't care about these guys. I'm gonna show you uh, the um... is my time again. Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Just run for the trap and kill them from the hallway at, at the distance. And then they're that smaller and there's almost certain that Yeah, going for the bridge is a good idea. That's usually what I do, but I'm gonna show you even... Um, uh, there's multiple ways to... If, there, if things go south, there's multiple ways to get out of it. Fine. Oh, there's a guy there. That's right, I didn't kill him earlier. I'm gonna get there. Oh, the cannon was... Oh! He survived. What? Why are you hitting me so hard? Surprise. I, sur I survived that. All right. Very interesting. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I don't have that much health for that next fight. Okay. Oh, there was... No! Okay. Seems like better now. Um. Okay, I have three of those. I'm missing only one. Let's see the challenges. Okay. It survived. What's happening? <laughs> How can you survive? Um, I think confidence is very important for all time. Man, my skill all disappears when I get nervous. <laughs> yeah, how they call that? They call that the... Um, no... The clutch... You know, clutch abilities. The ability to, to clutch like a win when death is almost certain keep your cool oh he survived that's good dude can you just please i nice shot I dash killed it. I wanted to chainsaw him. All right, I'm gonna chainsaw one of these guys then. Okay, and I though. It's gonna kill the other one. Okay, I'm gonna grab the ammo then. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, there's ammo over there. We'll be good. It's all good. We'll be fine. Yeah, the ability to 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 clutch a hard a hard moment. 
if you play uh, CS 1.5, you will know what it's like. Is he, he does this, he still has his uh, Kanan? What is he doing there? Full? I'm full. Alright. You don't want to necessarily use your rocket when you're jumping around in case you shoot onto yourself. <laughs> Right. All right. So here we are. So this fight, it's really good to fight it up there, like you, like you're doing, because um, the whiplashes cannot hit you if they are not on the same level as you are. So they have to climb up there, so, and 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 if they're not climbing fast enough, you can rocket them down there while they're trying to climb. Especially the one that appears there, because there's one appearing there and one appearing on the other side of the map. So this one has to cross the traps here, the bombs. So you can trigger the bombs, either this one or this one, from up there to damage that. And, and you damage that, them quite eff efficiently. Unless you kill her before. <laughs> yeah, the other people, what they do, they kill the first one. I usually use my grenade on that first one and uh, the plasma until it's dead. Now, the, the reason for that is that once it's dead, I already have the plasma equipped to deal with the, the shield guy on top there. The shield guys are preventing you from jumping up there easily. So you have to dispatch the shield guys and then you can climb up there. So I just kill it, climb up there and then climb up there and then do my work from up there. If thing goes south, there's a secret room down there in the where the, the water is. And there's an armor in there. In Ultra Nightmare, there's an armor that refills your armor completely. You can just jump off the bridge, off in the distance there. There's going to be a monkey bar down there. And go to the secret while well, mid-fight. Doesn't matter. You grab that armor and then you come back. So you're closer to that and then you're close to that that mega health there. That, that pack of health that you can just dash to get to. But it's very strong to fight from here compared to all the other places. But if you're quick enough, I believe you can dispatch this one and this one using the traps before dealing with the last one. Risky. No, not that risky, but it's it's still a like the first time you this whiplash fight is kind of challenging, anyway. And you can back up to the like exactly, nuke all the end. <laughs> you can back up all the way back to the trap and then trap them one by one. It also worked, but the thing is when you're too far from them, they try they they, they kind of throw their attack on the ground. I don't like it. That attack on the ground is, is very hard to dodge, does a lot of damage, so you want to try to avoid putting too much distance in between you and them. Oh. Well, this one is dead. It's gonna be shield guy on top, so... And then rocket. guy on the on top there and that's it yeah you can go here and then here and then here and you're gonna grab like there's an armor it's an extra life here usually but if on a trap pair it's a it's an armor so you can go what well, mid, mid fight you can go down there grab that and come back here you can even stay on the jump pad here and just rocket them from here 
I'm just back on the jump pad. <laughs> Can you climb around back to where the men could be where and fight from up there? Uh no, it's too high. Maybe there's a way, but I I don't think so. Never seen someone do it. But any elevation is good. Like you, you go here, you can go here, shoot them here from here, and then go back there. Anything from not staying down here is good because all the shield guys are here, the soldiers, and then the, the whiplash. Yeah, if you're too far, they don't attack. Yeah, you're right. If you're really far away, they don't. Oh, if you put a lot of distance. <laughs> hey, have a new a new sub, a new follow, Tyrant Warriors. Did we see that popping? I didn't see that popping. I mean, I don't understand what's happening with those. I need to read about that. It's supposed to be your alerts are dead. I don't know why. It's not supposed to be. Let me play that. Here. <laughs> no, the event is like the best thing, man. It's so fun to work with, but I'm having issues. It's probably my fault. Probably on my end, not 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 the other way around. Wait, I have way enough points. Upgrade the dash. First thing I upgrade. All right, concentration. The beast tries to be to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. I got destroyed again. At least I got this this guy. Didn't got it, huh? I want to get the Got it now. Dude. It's not good. I want to dispatch the the the, um, the big rockets from these guys quickly. The big cannons. Let's see these guys. Nope, wrong. <laughs> I have seven rockets, so better better use them. Sloppy, but done. Cause I, what, what the the thing I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to replicate. One time I did that fight. I don't know how I made it, but I killed the, that Mancubus. Went straight through it here. Dealt with the Hell Knight and Cackle Demon from here, and when I came back, everybody was in the middle there. Arachnotron, the other Mancubus, the Revenant, the Snake. I just like shot rocket on the ground here, like four, five, six rocket. Everybody was dead. Mission like fight over in like fifteen seconds, and I'm I can't do that again. It doesn't work. It was like super clean. Cannot have cleaner fight than that. I don't need that. <laughs> It 
seems like I don't have a lot of stuff gathered, but I, I, I picked up everything I could. Master Dash Refill is what I upgrade first. So yeah, it's the best thing, man. By far. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the result to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. Alright, getting to the pit. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. So for the pit, yeah, to use the cue ball efficiently. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it works it works better than others. So there's gonna be two cue balls on each side of that pit. And um they will respawn and respawn and respawn. So you can use them to kill the big enemies as they come. And the way it's gonna go is it's gonna be enemies in the middle, the big at the beginning. Which can deal with easily. Then there's gonna be shield guy dropping from the uh, from out from the top. You got you have to deal with the shield guy. Once they're all dead, you're gonna have one whiplash. Once dead, one arachnotron, and then once dead, two mancubus. You wanna have cue balls for the mancubus, and they spawn in like two the two corners, diagonal corners uh, of the arena. So. Like one in the corner and one like in... It's kind of weird explaining it from top, top here. But um, you, you want to be aligned with one of them so that you can cue ball one of them right away. As soon as you drop, you shoot a cue ball it kills him. Now, on the past times I was here, every time I was aligning myself for that cue ball shot, he was not dropping where I wanted to drop. He was dropping right on top of my head. So the last couple times I went here, I started using the tactic to be in the middle because the fight up to the mancubus is not that bad if you use the cue ball right uh it's after that it's it's really the the the, the, um, the mancubus that are the problem so what i was doing is when i get to the mancubus part instead of staying at the far back where the, the like the wall is in flame there's flame on the ground so you can get hit by a lot of things i was just going right into the middle here in the middle uh, the mancubus cannot hit you not right when they spawn. They need to move a little bit. So it gives you a little window. Little window. And I mean it's not. It's short. To ice one of them. And then hit them with a cue ball. But uh, last time it, it was a success. The two last time was a success. But I, I st I'm still testing that strategy. I feel it is more reliable. The other one. I had plenty of time. It went super well. And plenty of time. It, I got destroyed. So it's it's the random part. Uh, I would say that the pit is is kind of the um, the random part of the run. It can go like super easy, get out of there barely touched, and then another time you'll die. Uh, even if you know where what 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 you're going uh, against. All right, well, let's give it a shot and see how it goes. A oh, cue ball one side here. These guys. Cue ball the soldier when they drop down. Cue ball this guy. We missed. No time to waste. And now we're still in the middle here. But we can kill one and then deal with the other later. Like so. Clean fight. That's the way I like to do it.
If if you like use the um, the cue ball right, that's how it should go. That's that's exactly like like that that the fight should go. And I'm really starting to like to stay in the middle when the man cubes drop. So you stay on the edge for all the others, and when it's time for when when everything goes up to in flame, go in the middle. There's life. There's health there. There's you know there's a lot of health. And and the mancubus cannot hit you from there. You can ice them and and then kill kill one of them. Works like a charm. You ice one side, you go to that side, kill it, and then you know rotate around to kill the other. All right, I guess I should go for more health. I missed an opportunity for um, a turret dis destruction. During the pit fight, but it's okay. Didn't want to risk it. Oh, that's right. There's this guy. <laughs> Already have three, so we're gonna invest. So usually I invest in fast weapon switch, but I figure that it's good to invest in uh, immunity because there's a couple of section just upcoming now a section with with explosives. And uh, right now you can use them efficiently without risk of, of, of killing yourself. Okay, don't grab that. Oh, there's a skip though. <laughs> a little, little, little skip. these guys out. Are we looking? Looking good. Is the other map part of the... No, oh, it's not part of the challenges. And it's not tracked, so we're, we're on... We're good to go. Otherwise they can get in the way when you try. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, definitely. Getting rid of the gargles early before the mancubus part is kind of a good idea. But I'm not sure if they don't respawn. It's, you kind of have to find the, the correct moment to get rid of them. Still alive? They don't respawn. Oh, interesting. That should be it. Yep. <laughs> this is so stupid. You cannot die here. It's impossible. Need to do that on purpose. Oh, 
I can start grading this guy too. And I miss. <gasps> no, that was stupid. That was a bad idea. See how fucking precise this this thing is. What happened when the Revenant run out of help? I think you die, but you really have to want it to run out of help on that fight because you have like 2000 health and they barely do any damage. Where, where did she, where did, where did he go? Alright, we're still missing four stuff. There's one down there. I have to have fate. Probably I have everything. Out of ammo. That was a little bit too close. <laughs> he disappeared from... <laughs> yeah, he kind of went away. I don't know where, where he went. Five shot. It's not a whole lot. They they do quite a bit. Uh oh. oh I'm good. They do quite a bit. If you get hit that uh like four or five times, you can die from that. Let me just check something. We have two more points so we can invest here and have fast weapon switching. Now we get at the troll part of, of that level. If it wasn't troll enough. I have only four rockets. I could do kill those guys down here. I know that there's some that spawn. On those. Yeah, it's 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 a troll challenge, so really. Because you um because you really are not that strong at that point. And and, and two I didn't practice this one much, so... I mean, the trick is kill them quick. I don't know. <laughs> but having immunity against the barrels is a good thing, I guess. But you have to clear the snakes first. And then the mancubus. And um, one of the best ways, I believe, is rocket, of course. Triple burst, the first one. And uh, maybe I should have upgraded the rocket uh, to make it easier. But you can uh, kill the first one efficiently, ice the second one, 
and then kill it and then proceed with the mancubus destroy the canine and then rock it down but um it's a risky risky fight in my hand my my run uh for real because i didn't practice this one much usually that's how it, it it's a little bit random on if the snake will attack or if they won't <laughs> and if they won't we're good if they attack a lot we're dead i'm not risking this fight on you and no you don't no I, I recommend you don't if you do your UN, uh you try and may run for the first time don't do it it's not worth it's one point it's not worth it the risk of dying is way too high all right And it and it's choose to on two occasion back to back. It choose to aim to lock on the sto the zombie behind twice in a row. Sometimes I'm wondering if I shouldn't pick the remote detonation just for that fight because at least i could just shoot in the middle explode hit both of them do that two or three times everybody's there now the lock on screwed me there i i aim for the the snake hit the the soldier behind or the, the zombie behind i ice both of them aim for them again lock on the fucking zombie behind I mean, seriously, ridiculous. This, this is, it's fuck this shit, man. I need to practice that one. Really reliable, <laughs> unreliable, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like here. <laughs> oh my god, everything was doing fine. I mean, you do that, you get out. the The, the next fight is super piss easy. So. Oh my god. Do I have a fucking... I need to... Uh, that's the problem is... If I want to practice that... I need a file... That hasn't... Uh, on which it's not done. It's kind of... Bo hard to practice that one. I know for a fact that it's not done in one of my nightmare save. But then you have to get there first. So you have to beat the whole level to get there. And then you have to... To, uh, to try it. Triple six venti. Oh, I got some more stuff for the arch file. Pretty cool. What? What's that? What's triple six venti? I don't know. Well, now I know though where they spawn in the fight. I just have to practice that and we'll be good. I mean, I probably did that that um, fight once or twice. Just for the 100% com completion. Yeah, it's not done on this one. I have to run it. Oh, okay. That's what I have to do. I'm gonna have to clear Nightmare Run. Uh, stop taking selfie. <laughs> Delete this file. Start a Nightmare Run. Get up to that part. And then practice that part. And then redo it on Ultra. Yeah, but this 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 challenge you don't have much much upgrade because because the end of the level is just after that. So it's not like you you'll be beefed up a lot more on for that that challenge. You need to know how to do it. I I thought I had it like if if my lock on burst because I I threw two lock on bursts. I had time to hit two lock on bursts before they even touched me. 
If my boat lock on were on those snakes, they were dead. I only had the Benkibis to take care of after that. Pretty easy. So really, I got screwed by, by the lock on there. If, if the first lock on was on the first snake, and then the second on the second, easy shit. A piece of shit fight. But such a tight space that do, go, doing, going in with the rocket that a remote detonation could could be better. Because <laughs> when, when it de detonates, it stagger them. So you, you stagger them, you shoot another one. You stagger them, you shoot another one. And then you kill all of them in one shot. Especially if you ice them in, in between. <sighs> that challenge is ridiculous. That's what... That's what I'm, all I'm saying, that the cultist base is the hardest level. There's a lot of bullshit like that. The pit, this challenge, it's kind of... <sighs> the fight with the whiplash, when you first encounter them, three whiplash in one shot. It's kind of out of the blue, so... you make it. They make it really hard for, for that, where, where you are in the game. So... Bullshit, man. I'll have to do that. Because if I, I can use, I could use the save I have here, but I, I'm fully equipped, like mastered everything. So I would be like way too strong. And I, did, I didn't even do them. Oh, no, I did them. Yeah. So, no, I didn't. They're supposed to be green, so they're not done. But I'm fully, I'm fully load, loaded, so it wouldn't work. I, I have to be exactly like I was. See, I completely forgot about that on my Ultra Nightmare run. I'll have to do 100% all of those challenges. And most of them are fine. But I think there's one or two that I did only one. Only once on that on, on that file, that, that spot. I did them once. So I'll need to practice them, maybe. Maybe going Ultra Nightmare 100% for the first time is too harsh. I should go maybe Nightmare 100%. And then practice. Just because I can do Ultra Nightmare just fine, but not necessarily the 100% part. I don't have enough practice for all the little uh, little tricks uh, and, and tips a little bit around around all of the maps. Interesting. Well, I'll probably just build another, another save up to there and practice. And when you know you get got it down, you just load again and practice again. You don't finish the fight, you just like do it to like Let's have a game. Double pain and mental. <laughs> That's brutal. What? Dude. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. He, he, <laughs> he disconnected. <laughs> He's not there anymore. Top, 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 top left. 
He was lagging really hard. He was shooting me around corners hard. But we won. A win is a win. Oh, the triple six Vanti is the, the cup. My badge. I use blood bat usually. <laughs> Go back. I like battle mode, man. Uh, White Knight. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the coffee cup. It's a badge. I don't like it. I prefer the the blood bad badge. I like playing the demons, White Knight. I like I like uh, destroying slayers because people were at the very beginning. I don't know now, but uh, for the, the first two weeks of the game out, people were all saying that the slayer was too OP. But really, no. <laughs> when you when you when you're good with demons, you can you can screw up a lot of slayers really easily. So it's fun to have slayers that know that thing that they're the best get destroyed by demons. When I play Slayer, I barely ever lose, so it's not necessarily super fun. <laughs> so around. I mean, he's level seven, so uh, he's gonna get destroyed. That gonna be funny. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he got him pretty good. Uh, he has no uh, no chance. He walked into my box almost half the way through, then figured out he was in the gas box. So he turned around and walked all the way back out again. <laughs> he lost all of his HP there, all of his armor. Time to be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Again, good, good uh, gas placement. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it didn't be there four times in a row. <laughs> Good shit. He barely hit, hit us. He just he, he has a hard time just with the summon, uh, the the thing we summon. You see, it's getting. Get him!
I tried the long range snipe shot mid air, but um, it's tough because it, it's hard to predict the Slayer movement because they you think they have an arc movement like they go up and then they're gonna go down but then they double jump and then they dash so it's it's hard to say okay he's, he's falling down he's gonna he's gonna be there at that time so we're gonna shoot and hit because because they, they go down and then they jump and then they dash and then they fall down so it's a it's not easy let's see <laughs> yeah, <you> got <laughs> I should play another demon because I'm I'm pretty dangerous as a oh now now we're talking now I'm with a bad player which which is not probably not good as a demon fighting a slayer that knows what he's doing so um, this should be interesting I predict I'm gonna lose but. Um, Especially this map. This map is hard for Pain and Mental too. There's not a lot of cover. Like cover big enough to completely f hide myself. It's gonna be rough. We'll see. If the guy is decent and know how to loot block, we might have a shot. If not... My hell knight. Granted, he's not good. That's great. He's really not good. No, don't die. Oh, he died. Blocking his loot. Doesn't know where I am. That's why it's hard, man. If I'm alone, it's hard. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. Oh my god. Round lost. He probably did like 12 damage. I did like 400. Oh my god. This is going to be a tough game. And the Slayer is not good. He's very average. We're just even worse. Because at some point... If the teammate is bad, it's even worse. Because cause he, he gives health and armor when, when he die to the Slayer. We got him, we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> you just need to stay alive, not dying is great. If, if my t buddy would have died there, it would have refilled like the Slayer for 100 and something HP. So now all of a sudden, he's not, we're not able to kill him anymore because I'm alone. <laughs> I 
Another perfect gas box. Pain and Mental is the best, man. Hands down, the best demon. I'm pretty sure about it. His potential is ridiculous. Because he has a defensive shield, which if you aim at the Slayer, if you're looking at the Slayer, he cannot hit you back. Then you have a dash to get into cover and into offensive position really quickly. And you have a lot of HP, so you can sustain for a long time. Plus, with aerial view, you see everything. I need to hide because um, my teammate is dead. I'm just gonna go into hide mode <gasps> no I wanted to drop it down there I missed it Teammate will die again. Good. Where he is? What? How did he refill his ammo that, that, that much? He's held that much. Oh, I blocked the shot there. Miss that opportunity. Got it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, my teammate died what two, three times. The pain elemental is hard to kill, man. If played right, it's it's a bitch to kill. He tried really hard, but every time he tries, he lose he lose health. So he, he kind of has to decide between healing back up and leave, leaving me alive, so I my teammate respawn, or trying to finish me but take a lot of damage. So you see. I did three times the damage of my teammate, so that explains a lot. He lost his uh, red banner because <laughs> you need to win five games in a row. Oh, he didn't want to play against me. You need to win five games in a row to get the the red banner. If you lose one, you go down to silver, uh, diamond, and then silver, uh, gold, silver, and then browns. So you need five win streak to have the red banner. So if you see somebody with a red banner, you know he won five games, the last five games, whatever position he was, Slayer or Demon. So it's kind of a, uh, it gives an idea. He's fucked. <laughs> Double pain element. <laughs> oh, I can play something else. I'll play something else. I'll play this bad boy here. The Bank Abyss.
So the mancubus, you have to trap them. You have to figure out their, their path and then ambush, ambush him, them in corners. Because on close range, he's devastating. On on a uh, long range shot, the the the, the Mancubus is pretty bad because it's a huge target that moves slowly. So against the ballista and, and scope snipe uh, rifle and stuff like that, you 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 get destroyed long range. So you got to bait the Slayer into short range combat, or to trap him into a short range fight by hiding well. But this guy. He's an immortal player, so he beat it. Ultra Nightmare, so he's probably decent at the game. High level. And has a lot of boosters, so. <laughs> uh oh. You see how much damage it does close range? <laughs> he lost all his health almost. I just couldn't finish him. I should have dropped my gas. Quick smoke. that completely <laughs> let me uh, he let me run at him like very slowly <laughs> flamethrower recharge quicker <laughs> Come on. I thought it would go into that into a teleporter. I tricked him to I tricked him that I was going top so he went bottom but I I dropped bottom right away. <laughs> yeah, the flamethrower close range is ridiculous. But that's I mean he's super slow, he's super fat, so it it compensates for something. <laughs> I'm wondering why, because usually when I play against Mancubus, I destroy them. I really like when people pick Mancubus against me. I don't know why. 
it seems like most people I play against are bad with the Mankibis. Because it's a super easy target. He's like super large. You cannot miss it. So it, whenever I see him, just, just the, the side of his shoulder or a cannon, I can shoot a Ballista, switch to scope, shoot a, a scope rifle. It does like a thousand damage right on there. So he loses a third of his HP in like a second and a half. I don't know. So he, he do that three times, he's dead. And he cannot fight back. So, so, so for me, he's like the, the easiest demon to kill. Let's go at it again. Let's see how it goes. You one of the top players. I don't know, there's no rank, but I'm probably... Uh, especially if I play Pen Elemental, I'm probably very up on the list of the best Pen Elemental in the game right now. Because I didn't fought any Pen Elemental as good as when I play it up to now. I fought some good ones, but not as good as I am. They were too aggressive, so they I could I could I could catch them uh, with their guard off mid fight. Usually, you, me, I don't take that risk. As soon as I know my shield is about to go down, I go to hiding again. So I hide, and then as soon as I have my shield, I pop out, do damage, hide again. I re really only risk it when I know he's about to die, and I want to put pressure. I don't risk it that often. Like, this guy is probably a very good pain and mental. I would like to fight against him. Yeah, Archvile is uh, it's kind of the trap king. You want to set up traps with him, move around. Let's see what we're up against here. Uh oh. <laughs> he got hit by my uh he got he got hit by my uh, my my demons. Where he is? <laughs> Where is? <laughs> I couldn't find him. He was moving around too much. <laughs> it's my pen and mental that did all the work. I finished him off, but it, it was it was his job more than me. I didn't know that the the smoke was doing damage. It seems like the smoke is 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 doing a decent amount of damage, like ten or something, when it hits directly. I need to stay close to a um, close to a teleporter in a hide mode. I don't know why you went for that. <laughs> I didn't even use my gas trap. I don't even think of it because the, the flamethrower is so good. Uh. 
<laughs> uh, it works exactly like as intended. What, what what you can do with the with the bankubus is you 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 get yourself into a small narrow space. Like I was in the alleyway, you drop the the noxious gas behind the slayer, and then you you use your flamethrower and you push him into your gas. So he either has the choice to hit the flamethrower and get killed, or walk into the gas with while being flamed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a very nice trap it, when he's cornered like that he, he either has to jump over you to escape and and get hit by the flame quite a bit or or usually what most people do when they see a mancubus with flame throwers on running at them they just move they they they, they, they shoot you while while back back pedaling so they don't see that there's a no noxious gas behind them so they just walk into it just like he did you walked right back into it without knowing. I mean, it destroyed him. The damage was like immense. Yeah, I can play as as a slayer. I'll play one with the arch arch rather pending. Ooh, we have a one fifty eight. I'll 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 use my uh, my pain elemental for that guy. Just for that guy. We might have a good slayer here. <sighs> the guy has played a decent amount. He's 178, uh, 158 level, so. <clears throat> right, next next match next match I'll play as a as a slayer. See if I can find two good demons. Sometimes you you end up on really good demons. What's top level? 250. Did I, I saw a couple of 250s. I'm at 204, so I'm, I'm going there. By like completing another Ultra Nightmare run, I will be uh, close to that, probably close to 250. Oh, we blocked, both blocked, was bad. Now we cannot block because we both blocked. That's bad. Got him. <laughs> He's better. He's switching the weapon, so he knows how to play. And still, the undefeated. Block that shot. Block that shot too. <laughs> too fast. Got him. <laughs> you saw that? I, I I saw he was looking at me. I popped the shield. He shoot this barista shot. Blocked him. He went into the teleportal portal to get behind me. I turned around. Blocked the second shot. That's 600 damage a shot. So by blocking two of them, it's one 1,200 damage I just blocked. Right there with the shield. <laughs> Free damage. I'll take it. Oh. He blocked, so I'll block the second one. Woo! 
Need to get behind cover there. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he got zero treed. He must be pissed. <laughs> Not even close to dying once. Yeah, he had in me as a booster, no doubt. <laughs> he got destroyed. <laughs> well, that's how you gain boosters in this game. People boost off of me because I'm, I'm destroying them. <laughs> Uh, oh my god i'll see if i can if i can get the slay around again these guys at least it would be oh, i'm still a demon because at least these guys knows how to play so it would be more challenging because i'm telling you when i play slayers against you know level 50 below players it's not funny <laughs> i can toy with them i played one round against the marauder I killed him with my fist only. I didn't use a single gun. I just fisted him to death. He had 2000 HP. I brought it to zero. So he was trying to like axe me and then send his wolf and then shotgun. He was trying everything. I just punched him until he died. That gives you an idea. So <laughs> pretty humiliating. It, it, it takes like 20 punches or something. <laughs> it takes a while. Like the fight was going on for for like ten minutes. He couldn't do shit. He was like level seventeen. He couldn't do shit. He didn't. He didn't even come came close to killing me. And I didn't use a single gun, so it's just, it explains everything. But I saw some guys that have, that have like sixty five or or seventy boosters. So, I mean, these guys are not bad. This map has a lot of aerial combat so for the Slayer, so it's harder to... ...to hit him fair and square. Okay, so the other guy didn't block. Wanna go down? Oh damn it. about to pop my shield the other never block the loot because you have to you have to block the loot if you want to hope to win at some point because he can chainsaw i mean his chainsaw refill over time so he can just burn other people chainsaw you know and burn the demons you spawn and just chainsaw and burn he can just run around doing that without you know engaging in fight Ooh, square in the face. I hear he's gonna take some ammo back. Mm. 
That was a good guess. Blocking that. The verticality is, is insane in this level. He was looking for something to chainsaw. We heard his chainsaw out, but there was just big, big guys all, all around. So he couldn't find anything. It's 1v1. It's 1, one, one, one. Block. Hmm, didn't move fast enough. Oh, he missed. <laughs> that was not fun. Got him, got him. <laughs> he was on the run. <laughs> My teammate played much better this time around. The first round he, he, he got killed very quickly. Oh, he got me. Was bad. Too slow on that one. Oh no! He got my teammate. You see how many health he got back? Looking for me. Oh, that shot, though. <laughs> Super long range. Oh, not not cool, dude. And I missed my gas completely.
It's, it's hard to kill the demons later on in the game because we have team heal. So I can heal the, my teammate and my teammate can heal me. And we can do that, you know, quite a bit. And when I heal my and I when I heal my teammate, it heal myself for 50%. So for when you have 3000 HP, you heal for 1500 HP. It's a lot. Okay, it should be my turn now. If they still want to play, I might have a shot. If not, I'm gonna jump into a... Oh, here we go. Let's see what they're made of. Maybe the 158 is a better demon than a, than a Slayer. We'll see. Repente until it is done. I need to ready up. <laughs> I thought I was ready, but when you switch, it removed the ready the ready up. He wants payback. <laughs> yeah, probably they both want to remove my red banner. If I lose, I lose my red banner. That gold skin though looks pretty sweet. So it's been a while since I've played a Slayer with all the guns, because I played the Ultra Nightmare with zero guns. Here we go. Round one. <laughs> I almost lost my all my armor. Round two. No! Here we go. Round one. The pain mental is not good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. There's so many Dude, is they all there? Mm 
No. Here we go. Where? <laughs> I want to punch him. <laughs> I was wondering where he went. I'm playing aggressive. Usually I don't play this early. If, if they're good, I don't play that aggressive. <laughs> that <many damage. laughs> the pain and mental tried really hard there. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Let's uh, let's see if we can uh, f find others. No, not not quick play. No, not quick play. No, no. How do you cancel that? Cancel. Slayer. I don't like when you drop. I don't like dropping the. Um, the drones, because the drones, the slayer, the good slayer would just headshot them, and you receive full health, full ar full ar full ammo, and it's hard to counter that. It's hard to block that loot, and if you block that loot, then he's gonna chase to the next guy, and and that's gonna be it. Hey, it's Beaner again. This guy is new, but that's Beaner. <laughs> he quit. <laughs> He saw me, so, oh fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't understand what happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Have you ever seen that that video, guys? On YouTube, it's pretty funny. <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> it's a it's a 240 hz monitor. It's a ROG Strick uh, X, XQ, XG, XG240. I don't remember. XJ, XJ, I don't remember the name. It, I, brought, I bought it a couple of weeks ago. It's brand, brand new things. How to use what? My dad's first YouTube channel. I was giving a quick tutorial how to use that YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I have two monitors basically an old 60 hertz, 24 uh, inches for OBS and the chat and everything else, which was my monitor for like seven years. And then when I decided to, to start doing streaming on PC, I said, okay, I need a second monitor. So I'm going to I'm going to keep that one for, you know, OBS and the stream and the stuff. And I'm going to buy a brand new one for gaming. And the jump from 60 years to 240, man. Holy shit. It's not the same game. Oh, man. It's 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 two world. But you don't need 240. The, the, the big gap is between 60 and 140. If you can find a good 140, 155 hertz monitor, not too expensive, it, 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 it's a big, big change. Everything is much more fluid. See, so, I mean, I felt the change for about a week. 
until I got used to the new, the new, the new screen. Versus PewDiePie. <laughs> might, might beat it one day. Alright, we got a match. Oh, I have, I have a thing to do though. I have to kill the demons with four different guns. All, all the different guns in the game. And I think I've done everything but the BFG. So I have to kill myself for one round. So that... Interesting. Oh, interesting. They play defensively, I like that. Oh, I miss. Oh, not this guy. Oh, they might be. They might be a good a good team. Cause they don't attack. They play. They play defensive. They're, 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 they're killing me right now. I didn't see my health there. Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to get that one. saw me oh got him <laughs> no I don't want to be there be dead boy Oh, yeah, 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 I know what they're doing. Ooh. I get the loot. Yeah, I can get the loot. Mm. 
Oh, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Faster than his shield. Here we go. <laughs> Block looped. Basically, the basically the um, the demon has the opportunity to block your access to the armor, health, and ammo when you loot uh, a demon. So if they loot, if they block right, I cannot heal. I cannot get some ammo back. You know, I cannot do shit. Give me my sweet loot. Oh wow. Got destroyed. Against Zero Master or Dracu? No, but I played against Midnight. Do you know Midnight? He's a YouTuber, 100, about 100 subs, 100,000 subs. He's like a man. I don't know if he's a Colombian or Mexican, or he's a, he has an accent. He, he, he streamed like his channel is based on Doom. Almost uh, only on Doom. His name is Midnight on YouTube. And. Uh, I destroyed him, <laughs> but I didn't play as a slayer against him, I played as a demon, he was a slayer. I wish I could use binds, what do you mean? Oh, you mean key binding instead of weapon wheel, uh, instead of the scroll wheel? It takes about a week to get used to new key binds. Not longer than that. Is it is he really cringy? I never watched him that much. I know the guy, but that's it. And he was playing uh basically it was me, Salty Cow, and uh which is a friend of him on, on he's always on his chat, so he's a good player. And we were like like uh, all very good players. We did three three matches. I lost one to Salty Cow. He was the slayer because Midnight is not a very good demon. He's he's a good slayer. He's not a very good demon. So, and we were fighting against a very good a very good slayer. But um, one round we we were against Salty. That was me me uh, me and Midnight. We won by by not much. The two times Midnight played the slayer, we uh, we we busted his ass. And the one time, uh, the other time that Salty played again, I didn't have the chance to play the Slayer on those match. I have the, the, the video on my YouTube channel, it's a small video, it's just a 25 minutes. I think it's three three or four videos ago, you can watch that. I, I cut basically, it was a big stream, but I just cut the the part where I fought with Midnight and Salty. It, it was like high level uh, battle mode match. But uh, we managed. We managed. <laughs> but like I say, I'm really at my best with the Pain Elemental. That's the one I played the most. I didn't play much the other um, the other <laughs> demon, but I know how to play now. Because basically with a demon you have options. You can spawn uh, minions. You can drop not, uh, you know gas box. You can heal. You can uh, use uh, haste or, or armor protection. Stuff like that. So it, it's a lot to learn at the beginning. 
And once you learn that with one demon, it's the same for the others. They have different abilities, but it's the same, you know, button to hit and the same tactic to you. So you learn the map with one demon, you learn the, the, the key and the button and the, the strategies. So when you switch to other demons, you have to learn their new abilities and how to play them. But at least you don't start from zero. You're, you're, you're decent already. But the Pain Elemental, I played it like... I, I played, I believe, 3-4 matches of Argyle, then I switched to Pain Elemental, and then I played like 60 matches of it in a row. The Pain Elemental is, is very, very strong. Yeah, well, uh, the weapon wheel on, on, on battle mode is, is wrong compared to the normal game. But like I said, you should not use the weapon wheel. Hey, Alejandro, man. How are you, dude? <laughs> What's up? Or it takes you a while to get good at gaming, FPS in particular. No, I'm. I always was very good at FPS games. I'm not necessarily good at strategy game or other type of game, but I can pick up any FPS game, and after a couple of match, I'll be I'll be very 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 decent. Is because FPS is about aim, uh, you know reflexes aim and and movement so it doesn't matter what the guns are or what the map are Le learning the map makes a huge difference usually if you play arena shooters in particular the weapons are at certain spots in the maps uh so so you have to learn where the guns are so yet you kind of have a, a learning curve about the maps but if you have good aim and good reflexes you'll crush it anyway uh so yeah, I had cut. I was a monster. I stopped playing because I found it too boring. It, it, it's boring. Cod is too easy. It's, it's, it's way too easy. And the problem with cod is, is the campers. Campers can beat me all day long because they camp. You die so fast in that game that if, if they caught me from behind, I don't have time to turn around and shoot them. So it's not. They're not better than me. They're just playing a dumb game. And I don't like that. I like skilled game. If I get shot in the back, I want to be able to turn around and say, okay, let's play, you know? If I just get killed in like a half a second, then okay. But is it really like a, a better player or, or is it just camping? Um, I could I could play that, that camping game too, you know? What is this guy doing? Oh, he was right there. No, 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 no. Money, money, I'm rich. <laughs> Do you think there's a way to make up for some lack of reflexes? There is. I mean, practice makes perfect, I'm telling you. Definitely, you can make up for it. I mean, it's not necessarily going to make you the best. It, 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 like, I know it's a, for us, it's a family thing. My brother is even better than I am. My brother is a fucking monster at FPS game. Got him. <laughs> Let me think. Mm, are they good players? Mm. Let me think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just punched him to death.
Uh, mission failed. We'll get, we'll get them next time. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. I want to have a shot. Got him. Nope, I didn't thought that would kill him. I have two bricks instead of hands. <laughs> I'm pretty slow, man. I, I guess plenty of practice will know. But yeah, weapon switching is one of the main thing. But you have to learn to, to, be, to be better at that. It takes some time, but having good keybind helps. So so that's also, you know, it's a little bit of both. Because, for example, it, it, it would be funny. My I played a heck of a lot of Battlefield 2 when I was younger. I was a monster with my brother, we were playing together. We were winning all our games, even if we had the bad team. So... Do you know how to use this? I got him there. <laughs> oh, I missed. Nice shot. He's like super aggressive. I just don't t take care of him. If I try to focus him a little bit, he's gonna f he's gonna feel the pain. How do you like that, boy? Okay, where's that guy? Ah, oh, I need to lose a game. That's right. I need to lose a game. Okay, let's let's lose a game. I need to get the BFG. <gasps> they must be happy now. I need to get the BFG because I did I did one kill with the BFG to complete the try. Um, uh, one of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, haha, got them. Yeah, we get yeah, well. I needed the BFG for science. I need to kill one guy with a BFG shot, but it needs to be a straight shot. So I'm lo I'm gonna lower them enough. How do you like that shot? <laughs> he lost half of his health in one shot. It's gonna be hard to hit this guy with a with a, with a straight. Ah, I got him. Okay, wasn't too hard. I got the... I didn't see the challenge popping up, so maybe I didn't got it. Maybe it was not a direct hit. Oh, ooh, the gas, the gas. gonna pass there believe me maybe not Oh, he got me a little bit. 
<gasps> I thought I had him. Do I have a BFG again? No, I don't. At least they know how to spawn demons, I guess. like a 1 HP or something. Can we fist? Can we fist? The... Um, he, he got team heal, but he doesn't use it. Can we fist the pain elemental? We got it. <laughs> how do you like how do you like your life, boy? <laughs> you walk right into the grenade. Not a good idea. <gasps> Loot blocked. Oh no. <laughs> Weapon expert. Got it. <laughs> You're sadist. <laughs> they must be happy now. <gasps> oh my god. Close. That was a close. I, I had that one time. I was toying with them all around. The game finished three zeros, but they uh, they managed to get me like to twenty HP on the third round because I was just doing stupid things. And then in the chat, the guy was like, "Ooh, close!" I'm like, "Dude, three zero. Like, <laughs> it's not. It's not close. It's <laughs> it's it's a fucking massacre." But okay, okay, yeah, but we almost killed you once, I guess. <laughs> if if that's enough for you to, to say that it's close, <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> we were so close. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> if that makes you happy. <laughs> But I had a game. I had games where I, it was a lot of challenge, and I had games that I lost to two like super good demon, you know, playing together as a team, really like communicating together. Like they, they would set up traps, like perfect traps. But for a slayer of my my level, they need it, you need that basically. But it's doable. I'm I'm definitely can be killed. I I play dumb, and I, I can be killed, but. You, you need, you know, high level players that play together. That And that's why I, I find that the battle mode is really, really well balanced. It's really well done because at high level, if everybody plays at high level, it's, it's, it's very competitive. There's no clear winners or loser. So that for me is a balanced game. People are, were like, it's, it's unbalanced, the Slayer is too strong. Yeah, because the demons are bad. It's not because it's not balanced. It's because demons are bad. 
if you go one on one against a slayer as a demon, even if you're the best demon, even me, if I'm the best, like one of the best plane elemental there is, I'm still gonna die very easily. Even against a medium slayer on a one v one, I'm dead. It, it, you need you need to play together and you need to play well. And as the stronger the slayer is, the, the stronger your your bond with your your friend must be. Is there a pro scene in Doom? Sorry, I'm new. <laughs> hey, hi Jay. Are you man? Uh, no, there's not. Not right. They said they wanted to have ranked mode coming up. They said. I I fear that by the time it gets here, nobody's gonna play that anymore. But um, they uh, it would be nice. It would be nice to see. I'm, I'm, I bet there's pl plenty other players that are super super good. And then we could have rank match, and that would be a different thing. You, you, we would be playing sweats every every game. And some people don't like that, you know, uh, skill based matchmaking, because they feel like uh, I like I know why the new people, the noobs, like it because it makes them play against other people that are new, which makes it for an even more even fights. It's not fun when you start, you know. It's, it, it was like playing. Uh, chess for the first time and playing against like a grandmaster. I mean, it's it's, it's not even fun. You're gonna die in like f five moves from the beginning of the game. So, it, 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 let's see. Now we have a good. We have a good. Uh, we might have a very good pain and mental here. We'll see. But he's he's gonna be matched up with a very bad uh, Mankiewicz. We might have a good fight here. But we'll focus the pain and mental. And. Um, and that's the same thing, so I understand, but at the same part, when you're good, very good, at any game, and you have skill-based matchmaking, every game you're gonna play are gonna be sweats. And sometimes you just wanna hang out, you know, have fun, play, play, like I do, like stupid shit, just just have a laugh. You can't, because you're matched with, with super sweaty players all the time. Fortnite became quite a bit like that uh, in the last couple of, uh, of uh, iteration. They, they introduce skill based matchmaking so when you're good you're just playing against sweats it's like playing tournaments every game it's not it's not i mean you're not always up for that he's gonna hide Ooh. dude what was that oh, he's playing good Nice shot. Oh, nice shot. He's not playing with a uh, with with a good. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> this should be both rank and casual matchmaking, maybe even tournament. Yeah, but the thing, what when you do that, what happened is that. On casual, I, all the pros play on casual because they just want to have good YouTube videos of them killing everybody, you know, so it makes it no fun anymore. Woohoo! Oh, you were, you was lucky there. A rocket though. Okay. 
He's dead. He, he knew. He knew he was dead. Here we go. Round one. I risked it. I knew I was too close, but I risked it anyway because um, I still do a lot of damage. <laughs> so. I thought I could I could do it. Now's the time to push. Oh ho! Oh, he's lucky there. Woo, let's get the fuck out of here. Got my loot. There we go. <laughs> So that uh, pain and mental is medium at best. I would say I, I would rate it uh, seven out of ten. My player added you as a booster. Oh. <laughs> they don't want to play again. I wonder. <laughs> but he was not matched with a good uh, a good teammate. I mean, the Mancubus was playing not too bad, he was using his smoke, you know, staying in the smoke so I couldn't see him. But he, he was playing aggressive when his teammate was down. Basically, people can select you to be booster for their levels. So, when you gain XP, they gain a part of that XP. For their own uh, level. Alright, uh, White Knight, have a good, have a good one, man. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go off soon, too. I need to sleep. Maybe one last match. So, so that means I have 21 people that leech off of me for XP. And all those 21 come from me playing battle mode and, and rip and tearing them apart. They find me so good and they see that I'm 206 in level. So they're like, hey, I want to boost off of you. So they add me as a booster. Usually YouTubers have like two, like big YouTubers have already 200 boosters. Because like, you just find my name and you boost off of me. You could, you could do that. I don't know if you need, we need to be friends, although if you want to find me. If you can look for, for, for me and then just boost off of me. But yeah, since I level up fast, they gain much more XP. I'm Xbox. Oh, yeah, so probably that doesn't work. Yeah, right, I remember Daniel, you told me you were on Xbox. Usually when, when you when you're matched up with people that have like sixty boosters or up, you know you're matched against <laughs> tough to kill players. <laughs> because that means a lot of people have, have have decided that they're they're good they're good enough to be their booster. Because you can have three boosters, up to three. You can select three people. So you have to choose who it's gonna be. Dude. People don't wanna play. They, they, they don't wanna play. That's what that's what this is. <laughs> He's crying because you're on Xbox. <laughs> I think I pick one. I picked database because uh, he's a friend, so he wanted me to pick him. And I picked, I think, another one. I still have a booster left. People just don't want to play. They see me, they're like, nope. <laughs> 
Not this guy, nope. People don't like challenge. I like challenge, I like to be challenged. That's how you get better. If you avoid challenge, how can you grow? I don't understand. Like, if you want to play against, like, 12, uh, two year old kids and destroy them every match, okay, but are you gonna get better? Not really, because you play against no competition. It's by playing with the best that you become the best. It's not by playing with the noobs. Same goes for me. If I if I'm matched up only with with dumb players, I, I shouldn't say that. It's not their fault. Um, if I match against you know low level players, it's it's not fun for me either. I'm, I'm just destroying them without breaking a sweat. So it's kind of pointless i don't get better at, at, at doing so i don't i don't learn about new strats or what the demons can really do because i just like murder them wherever i see them so i need to play against good demons that's why a rank system would help because i would be at match against much better demon so you i would get much better than i am already am come on just want to play obiner Played against him earlier. Telling you, people are afraid. And I think it's time for going to sleep. If nobody wants to play, I could look. I don't think I picked. I don't know how to see. It's not here to see if I have boosters. For you. <laughs> no one wants to play with me. That's how it is. That's why as a demon I'm kind of you know low profile. People people when they play slayer they're like Phew, I'm a slayer, I'm gonna kill everybody, no problem. But they see me they're like bah, I'm gonna destroy that guy. It works. But when you play as a slayer, people are afraid. I can I can smell their fear already. Do you smell it? Do you smell it? I smell it. I smell I smell their fear. I bet they're already like, oh shit, he has a immortal banner. Red banner all around. That means he won his last five match at least. He's 206. We're gonna get destroyed. I, I'm I'm already I know, I hear him. I am. I know what they're telling them themselves. We're not good enough. We can't do this. This is gonna be a bloodbath. I I understand. They have they have to overcome. They got to overcome. We'll test their mental strength. There needs to be a better banner. <laughs> Is this guy as a, as a, as a uh, diamond banner, which means he, he he was red or he's about to get red. He has four win in a row at least. Just in there. <laughs> oh, these guys though. Misses chance. Nice block. Can you still get better if you're playing against people who are way better than you? Won't you just get destroyed? It depends. 
I understand what you're saying. Like if you play with over the top player that are just like slaying you without you being able to even move, maybe not. But you learn strats still. But yeah, maybe not. You, you need to find, you know, players that are above you, not too much. That, that, that hit. Calm down, you. Or guess. Calm, calm down. So, like, little tip when you play as a slayer. You can use your shotgun to get some armor back. Like, if I shotgun this guy, it drops armor. And they won't block that. The Even good demons, they won't loot block that. Because it's, it's not enough health to block. Oh, I thought it would pass. Oh, he died. So you can just do that and get some armor back. They won't block it. But you do that a couple times and you get full armor. So you get free armor without being blocked. <laughs> I like to have like rockets with remote detonation and try to have good shot like this, you know. Yeah, I got I got some armor from that, and then you can do that again. Get you know, armor again. <laughs> oh, that cool, bro. Oh, he got tricked there. <laughs> he didn't expect that. Let's go with um, the microwave. Let's microwave him. <laughs> okay, they, they, they got me enough. Oh, they blocked. Good, good, good job. They did good. Now they're aggressive. I like that. That was a bad idea, but I like that. Here we go. Round one. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm just having fun. Round three. Let's see if they freak out. Oh, found me. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, I had good. Ooh, okay. Hello, boy. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Microwaved to death. <laughs> I like that mode, it's so funny. And you see them they're, they're like they're trying they're trying they're pushing you know they, they do traps they drop they drop enemies you know they try everything i even let them you know lower low my my health down to like 100 hp or lower it's still not enough i can just like quit trying to hit them go for farming get my health back up my armor and then go back at it because the one thing that the demons don't have, especially at the beginning, is healing. They cannot heal. The only thing they can use is the big box for healing. But you, when you see that, you just shoot in there. And it, the big box can heal up to 800 health. Which is not that much. One ballista shot is 600 damage. One ballista shot, 600. So, so it's not... Even if you see the blue box and they're in there... You don't have to rush it. I mean, they're gonna win like 800 damage, one ballista shot and something, a little bit of other damage. Who cares? So they cannot heal that much. So every damage you do is, is damage, is help they won't get back. So there's no rush. You can just do some damage, go back to farming, do some damage, kill one, no rush to kill the second one. Because when, when the one that died come back, it's gonna be half health. So already you're in, you're in, good, you're in good position to win. You don't need to if you're low go farm let let the guy respond doesn't matter just go farm get your health your armor back up they cannot loot block because because one of them is down so there's only one guy that can loot block and if you burn his loot block already he cannot he cannot prevent you from looting so you just loot your health your armor your ammo the other guy come back you kill him again because he has he's half health and now you deal with the other one <laughs> Or you, you kill one and, and the other, so both of them are half health, and then you finish the fight. As soon as you kill one of them, they're in trouble. Even if you don't kill the second one. It's already very bad for the demon, especially at the beginning. Later on, they have team heal, they have instant resurrect. It, it gets harder. It gets a lot harder for the, the, the slayer. So you gotta win the first one or two round, if you can. You gotta win them. It's 3 in the morning now. Oh, we have two two potentially good players here. 98-4 and 105. Oh, they don't want to. Come on, one last match. Almost 12. <laughs> yeah, it's like 2.45. Here. Where is, where do you live? So are you in Australia or something? 245 you said almost 12 or 12 to midnight? Oh Washington State, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's 12 12 like PM. Yeah no, it's it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm I'm in uh Canada, Quebec province french canadian not too far from montreal but i'm, I'm uh, in fact i'm in quebec city <laughs> i don't know if you have ever, ever been there <laughs> a lot of people from uh from uh united states went to montreal once especially the one that are in new york because it's not too far never been to canada okay <laughs> but uh i've been to washington dc Three or four times. For work. 
I've been to Memphis quite a bit, Nashville quite a bit, Dallas quite a bit. They're 50 miles from the border. Yeah, it's, it's, it's super quick. And never been there. <laughs> right now is not the time <laughs> because of COVID 19. But, um, you know, uh, aside from where I live, Canada is, Canada is mostly English, so you have no money. <laughs> Traveling is fun. I traveled a lot and I like it. I went to Europe about five times I've went to Australia once uh, Cuba Mexico a couple of times each each time Dominican Republic one one time yeah I've been to a couple of places Europe I've been to like Germany Italy um, no, uh, all those other I know them in French, but I don't know all those 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 countries in English. <laughs> God damn it! Ireland, I've been there. France, of course. Um, Spain, I've been there. Greece, been there. Live a boring life. <laughs> <laughs> It costs a lot of money to, 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 to travel, that's a fact. It costs quite 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 an amount. And I'm not necessarily a big traveler myself if it wasn't for my girlfriend. My girlfriend likes to travel a lot. She makes me travel. Alright guys, come on. Boat level 12. We gotta match up. What should we do? <laughs> You've been to pretty much every place I want to go. If I have one suggestion, Jay. Australia. Holy shit, man. From all the places I've been, Australia is like... Right there on the top. I... I... Man. What a trip. I've been to New Zealand and Australia at the same time because it's so close. When you're there, you, you have to go to New Zealand. New Zealand, man. Ooh, holy shit. I've been to the north, the more the most north island. I took a car from the top Oakland, uh, Oakland town, drove it all the way down within the week to the Wellington at the bottom of the island. I stopped at every, you know, places I wanted to stop in between. But driving in New Zealand, man, best road I've ever drived on. It's beautiful, man. It's gorgeous. What what a country. It's ridiculous. And then you go to Australia afterwards. Damn. Amazing. How do you like your life, boy? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> he got like, I don't know... Maybe 500 HP left. One ballista shot is dead. that ammo thank you loot blocked or what interesting <gasps> loot blocked oh no they're running <laughs> They both use their their loot block, so they cannot loot block me. <laughs> okay, we need to do something. 
let's use the shotgun. Shotgun only. To bring back the pistol, yeah, that would be nice. Oh, let's let's try the other mode on this guy. Ooh, that does a decent amount of damage. <laughs> like I said, it's not really fun. I have more problem with with the the. With the uh, the demons in the match than the the um, the player demons. See you. Killed. Got him. Round one. Okay, let's not fuck around. Let's just uh, get this over with. Big demon. Execute these kills more quickly. No, I don't want that. I'm I'm hidden. <gasps> Your outline is hidden. They don't know where I am. Oh no, oh no! Here we go. Okay, I'll go full aggressive. I'll I'll jump right into the portal right at the beginning. All guns blazing. There we go. Alright, I think that's enough destruction for tonight. Did I lose a game? I think I lose a round, but I don't think I lost a game tonight. I was red the whole way through. To win the day. <laughs> Today was a good day. 
Oh my god. These guys. I don't know if they think they have a chance or if they know I'm just trolling. East 1999? 1993? What the hell is this? First thing. I need to use my hard rail. It's so cool. And when you win, it does that. Uh, you take a selfie. <laughs> Established 1993. Oh, is it the date that Doom, the first Doom, uh, got got out? I think it is. <laughs> or it's the day that the I um, Bethesda was uh, ID software was found uh, founded was created I don't know all right have a good night guys or a good day are you streaming I watch your read but never watch a stream definitely be back for more hey Jay man if you want to watch stream you can also do that on uh, twitch the quality is better if you want to join on twitch and, and drop a follow that would be nice I'm trying to build a twitch community too and uh, any help from my guys on YouTube is welcome but it's your call not mine hey jocelyn jocelyn derrière bonne fin de journée ou bonne fin de soirée dépendamment d'où tu viens ce fut un plaisir <laughs> have a good one all right i'm going to sleep see you probably tomorrow we'll see attempts to uh that ultra nightmare 100 again that that stupid that stupid, stupid secret encounter in uh, Cultus Base. I'm gonna practice that and then get back to it. I completely forgot about it. I need to practice it. All right, goodbye guys, have a good one.